Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. Thanks for coming to hang out with me for another Clash of Clans video. Today, I've got an exciting video for you. I got a couple Town Hall 10 attacks to show you guys. Um, it was actually a guy that was playing against WHF Rising. He's six packed, swagging six spell space with both of his triples. Um, so pretty crazy stuff. Also, at the end of this video, you guys, I'm gonna be changing the name on my Town Hall 11 C4. Um, and if you guys know anything about WHF, you're probably going to be able to guess what I'm changing that name to, but I'd like to see who's going to get it right. So right now in the comments below, go ahead and type down what do you think I'm going to change my name to on this Town Hall 11 account, and let's check out these insane Town Hall 10 attacks as well. Nerf this! I'm just going to start right into this attack, you guys. Looks like a fairly standard Lava Loon army, although he's got a ton of haste spells. One rage, one heal, three hounds, 26 loons, a wizard to kind of help a little bit with funneling with those heroes, and eight minions to help out with cleanup. Now, inside of that stone slammer, he's got a dragon and loons. And, uh, guys, this is, this is a pretty sick attack. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, he's six-packed with it. And uh, he swagged six spell space both times. Just crazy, crazy stuff. I, guys, after I saw these two attacks, I immediately cooked this exact same army and hit some friendly challenges. And guys, I was able to able to take some out i mean it, it's pretty dang strong um i was able to take one out that had a dragon in the defensive cc and because of the dragon in my stone slammer and the rage i was able to take care of that you got a skelly spell to help with the queen kill you got the dragon in that stone slammer to back up those skellies for that queen kill as well um just really dominant attack strategy on the right kind of base you'll see where he brought that stone slammer in down here there was no air defenses in there so it got a ton of value just defense multi defense and still alive in there still has not dropped out that dragon and loons quite yet guys look at the spells down there he's not going to use another spell for the rest of this raid um wow he actually might swag seven spells on this one if he never uses that poison did not catch that the first time around crazy stuff you guys let's times to it um because this base is already wrecked sure enough seven spell space he's gonna swag on this first one insane guys i i normally don't show the other the other guys attacks i like covering whf attacks um but when you're swagging that many spells uh, you kind of gotta show it it's crazy crazy stuff and i'm really intrigued by this army let's check out number 22 hey guys hold on a second if you're seeing this, that means that when I was recording this video, I completely forgot to prompt or ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. It's kind of important to do that. So if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, because I'm making new Clash of Clans videos for you every single day. So now let's get back to the actual video. Because uh, he does it again, guys. Does it again. This uh, Rob guy six-packed with it. And... Uh, man yeah i'm definitely gonna be practicing with this army a lot more um here we go we got heroes coming down looks like the heroes are gonna sui these two air defenses right here and a wizard tower in there as well so some big value um now after gosh i'm trying to think where that stone slammer is gonna come down i don't know maybe right on this cannon and then hounds up here after those two air defenses are gone and that wizard tower i guess we're gonna see yeah, and Sui heroes are kind of take a little bit of time, so I'm going to speed it up. Now, there is a Hound in the enemy CC, which we don't see very often anymore. But that's actually going to... Uh, it's not going to be great, because the Queen's going to have to deal with that Hound and Loon. She's going to get stuck on that Hound. I don't think she's going to have a chance to kill all those pups, you guys. I really don't. Um, he's going to have to pop his Queen. All right. So I was wrong on that Slammer location. It's going to come in right down here, but that's perfect as well you're gonna notice there's no air defenses in the section until it gets way up here and that's where the stone slammer is going to be able to get the most value when it doesn't have an air defense that's sniping it down early it's got already got two teslas working on a third right now we got the lava loon coming in up top and remember when that stone slammer does pop dragon and three loons in there there we go 
<laughs> he dropped a haste on the slammer. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. I mean, in the middle of attack, I can see, you know, trying to speed that section up. But, you know, as you guys can see from that, hastes do not work on, on siege machines. Spells don't work on them at all. You can't rage them, heal them, haste them, nothing. Um, <laughs> but that was pretty funny. I didn't see that the first time around. But once again, guys, uh, honestly, that, that haste was kind of a pre-swag there as well. So at least six spell space swagged on this one racked so many troops left up crazy crazy stuff you guys and like i said in a, in a friendly challenge i was able to take it down a base easily it had a dr defensive dragon in the cc as well and right now we're seeing a lot of ice golem dragon ccs so uh you know practice with it uh it's it's pretty insane guys uh got finally i got two whf rising attacks to show you as well i showed you two from the other team i gotta show you some whf attacks as well let's go check out number 28 interesting attack right here other side of course looks like a no dip war they were having because both sides have a few tens and elevens not quite cleared got martin two coming in with a cloned gobo lalo using a single golem on this one so that he's able to bring those 21 loons and uh gosh tons of spells are going to come down to support these bowlers you guys and i'll be honest with you I'm not comfortable bringing bowlers in a wall wrecker because I've had my bowlers in a wall wrecker just slaughtered so many times. But if you're going to bring them, you're going to want to make sure to bring a heal and a rage so you get the most value out of them. The heal to keep them alive long enough to get that value and the rage to really get those nice bowler bounces as well. Now he's also going to use a clone spell in this one, really investing a ton of spells in this kill squad. He's going to get some pretty good value out of it, but I don't know. Personally, I guess it's a matter of preference. If you like bigger kill squad and don't my lalo and with fewer spells cool um it's not my cup of tea but i sure like seeing it it's still very interesting and honestly guys he would have gotten a lot more value if there was not an ice golem in that defensive cc but those bowlers are just getting hammered on while they're frozen good thing that heal was there so they're able to get some value after the fact pretty decent push from the kill squad there i mean it did only have one golem but once again lots of spell space used very interesting attack though and i definitely like interesting attacks oh my gosh there's a clone giant down there oh my gosh i wonder how many of the giants got cloned i wonder if that was all that was cloned that would be insane never even thought about that before but uh they might have all got cloned you couldn't see it with that ice golem but at least one giant got cloned coming in lalo on the backside very nicely done had plenty of troops left um just not a heck of a lot of spells gonna be able to get it done let's times four because this base is wrecked also next guys got a queen charge hog attack for you um an old classic now that still works very well even better with the siege machines of course um and then then i'm gonna change my name on my town hall 11 be interested to see how many of you guys got it right i mean if you know about whf it's gonna be pretty obvious let's go check out base number 18 that is not you know what i wrote down the wrong one let me go find it real quick and i'll be right back I found it. It was number 20, not number 18. That was just poor note taking on my part. Um, but you know what? Through the magic of editing and uh, stopping and, and re recording, uh, it's just going to seem like a split second to you guys. So that's always nice. Check this out, guys. Queen Charge Hogs. Um, yeah, it's always beautiful when it works. And he's going to get kind of a raw deal on this one, honestly. I don't know why healers think that it's necessary to heal archers, but uh, sometimes they do, and, and that's about the worst possible use for them ever. Um, you'd much rather have those healers swap onto your hogs where they can do some good instead of on a group of archers in the middle of the base beating on a wall. But in spite of that, marine biologists love the name, by the way. Um, honestly, that's kind of what I wanted to be when I was a kid growing up, was a marine biologist. Still absolutely love the water and uh all the sea life there so really loving the name there um but you know he's just gonna be able to get this done no problem and gosh ice golem coming up guys i'm times two in it i'm glad they're nerfing that defensively because that thing is annoying Whew. queen makes it through the enemy queen with that rage spell does not have to burn her ability he has used both of his rages at this point um does not have any more rages so he's going to be able to pop the queen ability 
Uh, get through those last few defenses on that side, but then she is going to be going down because there's no rages left to support her, and she's going to duck off to the left where she's probably getting targeted by this expo, the archer tower, and the cannon. Uh, as soon as those hogs get rid of these defenses in there, she's probably going to retarget over there. Go, nice job with the hog deployment. Saving a few for the backside. Get rid of this Tesla so that you can trim the defenses um, to a manageable size there that's going to be covered by that heal spell. Sure enough, there's the queen going down over there. Um, here we go, guys. Let's times two it. And he's still got playing his last heal right there. Still had two more hogs in the bag for this last Tesla on the backside. Very nice moves there from Marine Biologist. No ground skellies on this base, so he's not going to have to use that poison. Um, and once again, guys, this base is wrecked. So now, now it's time to go over to my Town Hall 11, and let's do this name change. Here we go, guys. It's time. Definitely time to get the name change, because tomorrow is our first war of the cwl invite season pretty stoked facing power coc i believe one of more settings change name thousand gems yep gotta do it if you guessed cory graham then you guessed correct there we go boom Oh, man, I got to enter it twice? Well, I guess that's better than uh, entering the wrong name. I did not even know that was a thing. There we go. Corey Graham. Oh, now I got... Really? Really, guys? Come on. If you type it twice, I think in a row, that, that kind of should confirm it. There we go. There we go. Corey Graham. It is done. Now, and officially, a Town Hall 11 in WHF. Hey what we do guys if you're new to the channel if you haven't yet smash that subscribe button ring that notification bell because i'm making new clash clans videos for you guys every single day also check out the details below my videos and there you're going to find links to all my social media and whf family recruiting discord server so guys i hope to see you in whf family i hope to see you in my discord server at least but either way i will definitely see you in the next video